Hey fellow Vault Dwellers, today we are reviewing and revealing secrets of another amazing weapon from the latest update and this is Blue Ridge Branding Iron. So you can see, this is a very unique look and there are some things you can do to absolutely destroy it and you don't want to do those things, avoid doing that. And we go all over this weapon. So. You can see all its stats first that you probably can notice already it drops as a perfect roll instigating weapon speed plus one strength so there is absolutely no need to re-roll it whatsoever although you can consider other amazing possibilities in case of legendaries like vampire weapon speed or let's say anti-armor power attack damage if you want to make it into a boss killer but that being said instigating weapon speed is already a perfect role for everyday use case and if you wonder where to get this weapon look at that what a coincidence this event just triggered on my map you get it from event safe and sound it's not a guarantee drop so it is possible that you will need to do multiple events to drop one. But good news is this weapon is tradable. So you can absolutely get one from other players that were more lucky than you. Now, if we take a look on weapons workbench and if you investigate further into this weapon, it is actually a shish kebab with unique skin, but don't be mistaken. It's not just a different skin for a shish kebab. There is more into that. So my is already upgraded. I did upgrade to extra flame jet to achieve maximum damage. And here, never touch that. Blue Ridge branding iron. You can change the skin. You absolutely do not want to do that because this is not a regular shish kebab. What is different? It comes with additional fire damage over 3 seconds that shish kebab do not possess and even though the speed here is listed as medium, it is actually a fast swing weapon. Look how fast it goes. It's incredibly fast swing speed. And if you change the skin, you will lose the weapon swing speed because it is attached to the skin. And because safe and sound is running about now, I will show you performance of this weapon on this event. <laughs> That's a perfect coincidence. And no, you cannot manually trigger this event, so I was just extremely lucky. It is, this event is on full rotation of all the public events, which basically means it will trigger every several hours on average, and you never know at what time as public event one at random will activate every hour like three times per hour 20 minutes past 40 minutes past and exactly at the hour there is three time frames per hour when events activate at random now if you are curious how this compare with its biggest competition because it is indeed one-handed melee weapon and the biggest competition will be plasma cutter Damage per hit, Plasma Cutter is superior. So no, it will not match Plasma Cutter in damage per hit, but it will offer you superior swing speed. You can see the damage comparison as I have no addictions. So both of them are showing default values with my build. If you are curious what I'm currently running, uh, this is my build with all the perks that I have equipped and yes those are legendary perks just in case you are curious and what is my verdict about this weapon it is definitely super cool weapon due to its uniqueness i think it will be even better after power attacks will get fixed with next attack uh, next patch as now if i power attack there is highly likelihood it will not register as power attack, but as regular attack, which is not great. But soon that will be fixed. So then you will be able to use it even more effectively in power armor as 
Unarmed weapons cannot be used in power armor, but one-handed weapons can be used in power armor, and those are incredibly good in this scenario because power attack when you are wearing power armor is way more powerful than without power armor. Yes, power armor gives a bonus damage to all melee weapons with power attack. And this is huge. As you can see, I attack like... Okay, it's 600 damage, but rejected. That's the bad. I'm trying to power attack the Rat Scorpion and only regular attack is registering. If I would be able to power attack, the damage is really good and high. Now, as well, because this weapon has a flame damage, you can use it to heal your allies and friendly NPCs thanks to the friendly fire, which is quite important when you are considering a weapon that will be your daily driver. And here it is how it looks like if you power attack in power armor. I think it's really cool. Look, look how power attack animation is and how fast it is. I spam the button. So yeah, power armor, power attacking, and that is regular attacking. The animations really cool and unique on this weapon. The unique sound, fire, and generally better weapon than its counterpart, which is a shish kebab. Just never ever change the skin. The skin holds this extra swing speed, you can say. Without it, it doesn't have it anymore. So you absolutely don't want to change it. You were able to see damage numbers on this wolf. I were able to push like 800. Now the big guy. The big guy. Let's look how fast you can attack. I was testing it on Scorch Beast too. It's absolutely efficient weapon to kill Scorch Beast thanks to the insane attack speed and fire damage. Fire damage is useful for healing and for dealing damage. Let me power attack him a little bit. Look at that. Dead. Let's see what I will get as a reward. Oh, look at that! I don't know. It's almost... It almost looking like a plan that I just drop another branding iron from the event. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. I, I never had such a luck trying to record a video. Blue Ridge branding iron. So I have two now, one unmodified and one modified, so I'll be able to try and reroll this other one. It is generally light as well, so it's not a problem to keep a spur on you. And that being said, this will be everything you need to know about this unique and cool hot weapon, Blue Ridge Burning Iron. I do have a lot of fun playing with it around. Even though it is not the most powerful weapon, it is absolutely the fastest swinging weapon from all one-handed weapons. Um, maybe the same speed as knives, but yeah, it looks way better because it's bigger and cooler animation. And that being said, thank you all for watching and see you all in the next one.